Something like a glacier wall, 20 feet of ice stand guard over Chinook Pass, blocking the route to the west and blocking business from resorts like Whistling Jacks. We're all very upset about it and we just, it's really hard for us to understand because we don't think that uh, there should be any reason for it. But crews say this year isn't like the past 15 years. This year the snow is deeper, in some places 40 feet deep, and the going is slower. This year is going to be real slow. We've got some really tall drifts and the snow is real soft and heavy, so it's just taking a long time. Normally what we do in two days is taking us three weeks. It isn't the sort of work you can rush, workers say, and from this perspective, that's easy to understand. It's a 2,000 foot drop to the valley floor below, and that drop may never seem farther than when you're sitting on top a 60,000 pound caterpillar. Uh, when you're up there and you're pushing snow and you can't see anything in front of you and the road is so narrow you're sure you can't back up and it looks so narrow you're sure you can't turn around but uh, you have to go do it anyway or the guys are going to laugh at you and uh, we don't allow that. So. <laughs> Lee says warmer weather may lend a hand to the crew's efforts as deep drifts of snow melt from the road easing the way for equipment. Even so, the bulldozers may push the Memorial Day weekend deadline back by a week. And while a week may not seem like a long time, for some businesses it seems like an ice age. Well, it's the first big holiday of the year. And everybody loves to come out and, uh, they, you know, they've got a three-day holiday and they love to come up camping. At Chinook Pass, Deborah Armstrong for KIMA News.